Wanna hear a scary story? We're getting closer to election day. Our health decisions, our leaders should protect our rights. These ads seem like they're everywhere. It's hard not to pay attention. I mean, they're, they're commercials every 30 seconds. And now one of the candidates looking to be Oregon's next governor has snagged a big endorsement. The Oregonian's editorial board has chosen to endorse Republican Newt Bueller. I was a little surprised, but uh, um, you know what? Okay. And I kind of always figured that Oregon and Portland in general was kind of more Democratic leaning. But to some political experts, it wasn't a surprise. The Oregonian editorial page has been really pushing against the Brown administration on a variety of things. Dr. Jim Moore specializes in politics and government at Pacific University. He says while an endorsement like this for a Republican candidate for governor isn't unique, it hasn't happened in quite a while. They've endorsed people like Gordon Smith when he was a, a Republican running for the Senate. They endorsed uh, um, a Republican Secretary of State, uh, Dennis Richardson, um, running. So, so it, it's not unknown, but for the Republicans race, it's been a long, long time. As for swaying power, Moore says back in the 70s or 80s, this kind of endorsement would have made a big difference. But these days, not so much. Now it comes down to what Bueller will do with the endorsement. But the statewide impact of the Oregonian is gone. And so that's not going to really play a role, once again, unless Bueller picks it up and starts running ads all over the state that show it. In Portland, Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.